What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and it is time for KSI Logan Paul 2. Obviously, um, I'm about to watch it early in the morning right now, so please excuse me for being quite quiet. Um, KSI is about to come out, Logan Paul's already in the ring. And firstly, before you guys leave all the comments, if you're new around here, yes, I am a bloke, I'm not a girl, uh, I just have long hair. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Logan's wearing like American inspired gear, uh, KSI's got some like, you know, he's just got his little promo package playing right now. KSI wearing black and red gear, that looks quite cool actually, um, wearing his like, you know, bandana to cover his face, better than that mask he wore a few fights ago. <laughs> um, anyways, I have to give... Obviously, my predictions, if you haven't seen this already, I want nothing more than for KSI to win. Uh, I'm sure you Logan fans aren't going to like me saying that. But I've been watching KSI since I was a kid. His FIFA videos, used to, I literally used to come home from school and watch them and they would make me die with laughter. Uh, Logan Paul, I've never watched his content uh, and I've only heard bad things about him. So I'm not personally a fan of his, but KSI I've been a fan of for a very long time. Yes, they're both arrogant. Uh, yes, KSI has got more copy uh, as the years have gone on. But, you know, that's it's still the same. He's from the UK and I've been watching him for years, so I'm rooting for KSI. Here we go, round one. These two are at it. It's ready. KSI throwing a jab straight away. Both men just throwing jabs right now. KSI needs to come forward. He needs to apply pressure to Logan. He can't allow Logan to put that jab up last time. Oh, clinch straight away. Oh, JJ went for an overhand, but it looked more just like a swingy shit punch. Neither of these men have tight guards either. They're just dropping their hands. He's grappling him again. Logan had him in a front face lock, literally. They look like they hit him. They look like they got to him. Those jabs by Logan Paul connected to KSI. Logan's hands are by his waist the whole time. He's just throwing swingy punches. KSI just throwing some wild punches right now. He's like a windmill. Logan's throwing. He just went for a hook. He's front face locked him again. Let him go, man. Oh, big hook by KSI connected to Logan Paul. Doesn't look like it's affected him though. And KSI, front face lock again, let him go. I don't know much about boxing, but I know there's not meant to be this much grappling. <laughs> and there we go, that was round one. Let's move on to round two. Here we go, round two of six and we're underway. Whoa, two wild hooks there by JJ. Went for the overhand, if that connected that would have been great. Oh, Logan's really good at dodging to be fair so far. Oh, oh, wild hands, wild hands. Oh, stiff jabs by Logan Paul. This has been a bit of both so far, really. KSI had Logan then, but then now Logan straight back with a jab. JJ gone in again. Logan clinching him once again. JJ with two wild swings again, causing Logan to put in another front face look. Sure, can he not get penalised for that? Like, he's grappling intentionally. JJ needs to stop throwing them wild punches because they're just going to tire him out and they're all missing. And there we go, round two's over and done with. On to the next. Here we go, round three. Logan himself said that if he doesn't knock JJ out in the first, second or second round, he's knocking him out in the third. So will Logan Paul live up to that promise and knock him out? I don't think so. Neither of these guys have hit massive punches yet, I don't believe. 
JJ is still throwing wild ones. Still wild, but they could be effective. You never know when these guys are hitting that hard. Yeah, it's true. That's the thing. They are that wild, but when they're not hitting, when you're frying punches like that and you're not hitting them, surely you're just going to get more tired. He's, 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 he's got him again. Oh! 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 KSI just knocked Logan down to one knee. Did that count as a knockdown? Or was it just Logan tripped and fell? It was a big punch by KSI, but Logan seems fine. Big overhand, and once again, Logan got him. He had a single underhook face lock then. Clinch again. I honestly think that's Logan's strategy. Every time he feels like he's going to get hit and he can't throw back, he just grabs. And Logan grabbing him again. Sure, can he not get in trouble for that? Like, surely. Like, he must be losing points or something every time he grabs. I, I don't know how the point system works in boxing. Logan just scurried out the way. And that's the end of the round once again. So far, I think that KSI is winning, but I'm not sure. Let's see what happens in round four. Here we go, round four. Over halfway through. Logan's landed strong straight from the opening bell. I believe that KSI is in front right now. Logan's definitely scared of these big JJ just cutting him off. And they're grappling again. Logan's constantly on the back foot, whereas JJ's constantly, constantly cutting him off, moving towards him. Oh, Logan with a lovely slip getting himself out of the way. Logan with a clinch once more. He literally watched him go in and grab him. JJ with another wild overhand, missing another one just there as well. That's, that's going to cost him, surely. Cost him his energy anyway. Oh! Logan just put him down. But that was straight to the back of the head. Logan grabbed him, hit him, and then when JJ went down, he hit him again. Oh, he's a cheater. He's literally... Watch this. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it, sorry. <laughs> he hit a nice uppercut that was lovely. Then he grabbed his head, hit him with another one, and then he hit him twice while he was already down. This isn't MMA, mate. Dude, you held his head with the uppercut... That's illegal, exactly. Can you look, if, hopefully you guys could hear the referee say that. I believe he should. I think he should take a point off 100%. Just because they're inexperienced doesn't mean they get to cheat. Take away two points from Logan Paul. Yeah, no, I believe that's fair enough. 100%. If you're not going to follow the rules, then there's no point, is there? Now it's Logan on the front foot, JJ on the back foot. That's the end of the round. Let's get into round five. We've only got two left. Here we go. Round five. I think that momentum has completely swung here. Everyone said the later rounds would favour KSI, but so far it's been all Logan. Last round after the cheating, hitting while he was down. And opening this round is Logan. I believe this is going to go to points. I genuinely believe this will go to points. I don't think that they're going to get a knockout. I don't think it'll be stoppage. KSI is visibly tired, maybe hesitant. It's like he's retreating right now. He just took a jab from Logan to the chin. Went for a big hook, missed. Nothing major happening in this round so far. It's literally just been Logan throwing punches and JJ trying to, you know, get back in this fight. 
That knockdown definitely did something to him, to his confidence anyway. And that was the end of round four, five, sorry. Literally nothing happened there. Um, and yeah, practically nothing happened. The whole round was literally just low and just throwing jabs. And uh, okay, so I sort of just trying to get back in this. Let's move on to the sixth and final round. Time for round six and they're clinching once again, literally straight away. KSI needs to get back in this and straight away Logan just grabbed him in the front face lock and threw two body punches cheating once again no punishment this time obviously oh KSI with some big punches Logan got his guard up nicely to block both of them hooks by KSI. Oh, KSI with a nice jab, but at, at the same time, Logan hit a nice uppercut. This, this is wild. Definitely feel KSI is back in this round. May have took the last round off just to recover. KSI sad Logan on the back foot. 45 seconds left and Logan once again. 40 seconds remaining. Are one of these boys going to produce the knockout? KSI with a nice parry on Logan's jab. Now he's... He had him again. Logan had him in the front face lock again and for another punch. Fifteen seconds left. Final ten seconds. And these two just being wild and Logan clinches one last time. And what about that crazy round? And that's that. That's the fight. In my opinion, KSI has won that on points. Just because of the amount of times Logan clinched and hit him. Well, hit him sort of. Is it? I don't know if it's illegal, but it's definitely dirty. But I would say KSI won. Let's see what the actual result is. Here we go. Fifty-five. He has it for Logan Paul. Patrick Russell scores it. Fifty-seven, fifty-four. He scores it for KSI. Good. Oh! Another Dr. draw. Dylan Moret scores the contest. Fifty-six, fifty-five. To the winner by split decision. From the United Kingdom. Yes! 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 KSI wins it. That's what you get. That's what you get, Logan Paul. Cheaters never prosper. KSI wins this fight. Well done. Absolutely well done. Suck on that Shannon Briggs, suck on that Logan Paul. He came to America and he beat him in his own country. Amazing. I do hope you enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna, this reaction video is gonna be way too long already, so we're not gonna stick around and see what they say afterwards. But I've been joking, joking with wrestling. If you like wrestling, when you just like general reactions to big events like this, I normally watch all of them. So please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.